Welcome to Hometown Living. I'm Ronnie, and this morning I am being joined by our producer, Greg. Good morning, Greg. Hello. How is it going? Good. What, what's happening on the Hometown Living set? You know, I... Greg, sad to say, but today is your last day. It is my last day. I am, I am departing for greener, uh, I'm departing for something. I don't know if it's greener pastures or if it's putting me out to pasture, but it's something. Right. It's something, Greg. It's something. Greg, how are you feeling, you know, about your last day? It, it's really weird because I've been here now to Wednesday, the Valentine's Day was my two year anniversary. Mm -hmm. So I've been here two years and I, I've grown a lot and I've changed a lot. Mm -hmm. And as I've done that, this kind of job has changed with me. Mm -hmm. And to a degree that I feel like my personality is so like entangled into this job. I almost, I, it, it's kind of hard to find out where the two, where one stops and one begins. Right. So it's, it'll, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see kind of what that's like. Yeah. When that's severed. And Greg, you know, I've only been here for a month and when I tell you like, yeah, it's crazy, a it's month. Been a month yeah. It's been a month. I don't know why it feels longer than that. Is it? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. It's hometown living time. Yeah. It's hometown, right. <laughs> but working with you, like your personality, Greg is, I promise you, is the funniest person, especially going to like our on location shoots, like just being in a car with Greg is hilarious. Like you guys gotta see oh, that. Yeah, but Greg, what would you say is like, what is something that stuck out to you about working here, being in a station, meeting guests, what was it? I mean, everything. Um, mm -hmm. like, this is kind of always what I've wanted to do. I've always wanted to work in production and kind of, I, I've lived to the film and cinema gods mm -hmm. my whole life. Mm -hmm. And so to kind of finally get to do that and not only do that, but come into an environment where I was encouraged to create through Lorena, our previous executive producer, through Dorian, who's our producer now, through all the people that we worked with and the fantastic guests that we've had. Um, it's, it's been really interesting to watch, I guess the support that's come with that and kind of the responsibility that's come along with that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what would you say is your favorite segment in studio? Let's let's do an in okay, studio. Okay, that's part. hard. See, <laughs> I, on location, I have a cop out answer, but I at least have an answer for it. In studio, it's it's so hard because I've made so many connections with so many different people in the area in our community. Like I, I came in with a, a grasp of people. Like you know, I knew Miss Meg. I knew uh, just a ton of the people that we've had on regular guests. But like. I'm Facebook friends with like managers of the Selfing Cubs now. Like I'm I, I'm Facebook friends with people from venues, parks, and arts. Right. Like I've gotten to know these people and know their stories. Yeah. And build relationships with them. Mm -hmm. And I I, I don't, can't really pick just one that's yeah. in studio that's my favorite. Yeah. On location is a different story. Okay, then let's get to the on yeah. location. That's what you can't choose. It, it's also a cop out, but it's um, anytime we got to do a road tripping show. Okay. Because I was here maybe a month. So it was, it was March of 2022. Everyone take your minds back to March of 2022. And. <laughs> Lorena came up to me, our previous executive producer, and she told me about these road tripping shows. Like, oh, it's about going on location. It's about me like, checking out these communities, encouraging people to go out and take a trip somewhere. And I'm like, oh, this sounds really cool. And she went, yeah, that's on you now. These are all yours. You're gonna do these from now on. We're going to Holland, Michigan for the first oh. one. Good luck, get to work, you got this, I believe in you. That was it, full creative control yes. of this project. And I'm like, oh, oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm, I'm getting all sweaty, I'm gonna screw it up. I'm like, oh yeah, you. And I, but Greg, we can't panic, remember? Well, that's what we taught, that's what you thing. taught me. I, I taught you, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. It's like, mm -hmm. these thing, you can panic. You have to work through that panic mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. Like you can even like buckle down, deal with the situation and then you can panic about it later. You can right. panic and you can cry and you can, you can do all kinds of stuff later. Mm -hmm. But like the road tripping shows, it was like that. Like I got to, I panicked a lot. And I got, but I got to do it. Like we did Holland, we did Benton Harbor, which I, I Benton Harbor might be my favorite of those shows, just because I tried, I learned from the first show and I applied all that to the second show in Benton Harbor, and that one was really fun. And then St. Joe, we tried a bunch of other stuff that didn't quite work out, but I still really liked that show. And then this year we got to do Michigan City, which that was a whole different experience for me, mm -hmm. um, just because of some of the more behind the scenes aspects. But the road tripping shows were always so much fun to deal with. Right, and Greg, I, I'm, I just can't believe I'm saying that you're leaving us, which, yeah, we're gonna have a talk after this because I don't understand. But anyway. This is where Ronnie makes her appeal. <laughs> this is actually not my last day. Yeah, this isn't Greg's last yeah. day. You know, this is April Fool's, but Mark, we call it February. February Fools, yeah. February it, Fools, yeah. Yep, yep, there we go, it. there we go. Okay, so is there any, you know, last advice that you would like to leave the hometown living team? Greg, what would you leave us with? I would say there are two mottos that I've kind of tried to live my life by. The first is aim for the sky and try not to miss. Because it, 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 dreaming big, aiming big, it is, it can sometimes deflate you because you'll, you'll go too big. It's like the Icarus thing. You go too close to the sun, you get burned. But if you don't do that, you're gonna stay grounded forever. 
And the other advice I have, the other credence, their motto is trials by fire, it's how we learn. Mm -hmm. Because you will never learn more from screwing up. And let me tell you, I have screwed up a lot in this job mm -hmm. and a lot in life. Yeah. And I feel a lot older and a lot wiser and a lot more uh, broken down and tired and just I stare into the void and, and my alone time. <laughs> Hearing the ticking clock of eternity, Ronnie. I broke Ronnie, this is great, this is great. I can see why you guys never put me in this couch before. I understand that now. I'm always the guy in the background oh holding the camera, doing, doing some wacky stuff in the background. Greg, uh, oh my goodness. Thank you for those <laughs> Of course. And Greg, we're gonna miss you here, seriously, at Hometown Living, oh. but thank you, you know, for putting in all the work and, you know, for all of your support. Well, thank you, Ronnie, really yeah. appreciate it. And you're off to, you're off to a, a, a smashing grand old start. Right. And I think you're gonna, you're gonna do great. You're all gonna do great. You at home, you're gonna do great. I, I believe in you. Everyone's, Everyone's gonna, do gonna do great. Everyone's gonna do great. Yeah, and we wish you nothing but the best on your future. And I know wherever you go, wherever you go, you're, you're just a star, Greg. So yeah. thank you, Ronnie. keep up the great work.